So guys, Max Uhas here. I'm driving and uh, I'm sitting here and I'm alone in the car and I'm kind of bored. So I figured I, I wanted to shoot this video, right? Because I was, I was thinking about all the things that I want to accomplish this year. The real question is this. You have to ask yourself, it's like, are you willing to invest in yourself? You know, are, are you willing to invest in yourself? Are you willing to invest in yourself as a business? Are you willing to invest, invest in yourself as an, as an individual? Are you willing to invest in, in yourself as an entrepreneur, you know, as an artist, as a creative person, as a photographer, as a graphic designer, as a muralist, as a um, painter, as a as a comic book illustrator? I don't care. You know what I mean? I don't care what kind of, of, of art, what, what you create. You know, you, you could be the, the best sculptor in the world. You, you could be the best anything in the world, realistically. And it's like, if nobody knows who you are, um, you know, this is where this is where a lot of artists and creative people struggle because, well, for one, all right, let's just break this into because I'm I'm on a I'm on a roll right now. Um, for one, they get caught up in this idea that their work is never ever 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 good enough, you know, and that's bullshit because like basically, hold on, I gotta pause it. Sorry, there's a state trooper driving by me. I put the camera down, but anyway, um, it's bullshit. Like literally, if you do good work, right? If you do, if you have people telling you all the time, man, you're awesome your your work is great i love your work and you're sitting there doubting yourself and your abilities then you really need to get inside your head and unfuck your head okay because it, it, the, the, I, I honestly believe that the one thing that cripples most most people in general and it's not just artists but let's just talk about art let's just talk about artists let's just talk about creative people it's self-doubt and not valuing yourself enough to realize that, hey, motherfucker, you're talented. You know, you're talented, and people want talent. People pay for talent. People need talent, okay? The world needs talented people to create, okay? Because without that, you know what we get? We get plastic shit, you know? And what do I mean by plastic shit? It's the same recycled nonsense over and over and over again, and, it, and it's like, you know, it, it, you hear about these artists, it's like, oh, such and such got discovered, but they're dead, you know what I mean? Or such and such, you know, it, it's like, yeah, it, it's like this David Bowie thing, right? Like, all of a sudden, everyone's on that David Bowie bandwagon. David Bowie was fucking genius, bro, and he, he had the balls to go out there and, you know, just, just be different, you know? And, and he, he set a trend, he made a mark for himself in the music world and in the art world as well because he inspired people to just basically get out of their comfort zone and say hey motherfucker i'm weird you know so i'm i it, it just I, i'm gonna put a, i'm gonna pre-frame this like i curse a lot when i get real excited I'm, i grew up in new jersey and um you know i i if you're from jersey you get it if you don't get it uh you're not from jersey so whatever um but but this is where it is it's like you have to value yourself enough to know that hey man i'm good enough i'm worth it and, you know, it's, it's like, fuck the haters, you know, fuck the people that aren't going to support you because it's like, if, if, and this is where it breaks down to just like controlling your life, right? Like you have a choice and I, I learned this years ago, right? It's like everything you do is a choice. You have a choice to sit on your ass or you have a choice to do something, right? You have a choice to create or you have a choice not to create. You have a choice to, to, to perfect your art, to perfect your skill, to perfect your craft, or you have a choice to just like, uh, you know, just sit there. And, and you have a choice to love yourself. You have a choice to be, to, to challenge yourself and to step outside of your uh, out of your comfort zone and do something that you've never done before. Because you're, here's what's funny about it, right? Successful people weren't always successful, okay? Talented people that you're like, oh man, your work is so great. You know what? They had to, they had to step out of their fucking comfort zone and get out there and do something that they had never done before, which meant canvassing, which meant talking to people, which meant promoting themselves, which meant marketing, which meant, you know, learning how to run a business. And some people don't know how to do that. So they hire people, which is fine. You know what I mean? If you want to outsource it, great. But it's like, you got to get uncomfortable to grow. You know, you've got to get, like, you, you've got to get uncomfortable to grow. You've got to get out of that, that weird little comfort zone, or maybe it's an uncomfort zone, you know, because maybe you're just, you know, I hear it all the time, I'm tired of working, I'm tired of, I'm tired of working for this company, I just want to sell my art, I want to, I want to do this, I, I want to make a living selling my art, but then, it, then it's like, 
what do your actions say about what you're actually doing? Are you are you putting in the are you putting in the work to to, to grow? Are you putting in the work to, to build a business for yourself, or are you are you, you know what I mean? Because because I know because there's a thing like like I, I I ran a business, I run a business, and I know the work that it takes to run a business. But what was really funny is is like the business that I was running isn't what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. So after I got done running my business, I would go and work on my dream. What was my dream? Well, my dream was to create, sell my art, and teach people how to do it. So what did I do? I learned um, how to market online. I learned SEO stuff. I learned how to set up websites. I learned how to blog. I learned how to keyword. I learned how to backlink. I learned how to shoot videos and rank videos. Because that's the difference, you know what I mean? There's a difference between just publishing a video on YouTube and hoping somebody sees it, or actually putting in the work to keyword it and the right way so that it shows up in search engines and then it shows up in, 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 in YouTube searches and Google searches. Um, you know, I, I learned paid traffic. I learned, you know, marketing. I learned how to brand myself. I learned how to basically get comfortable in front of a camera and speak like this, you know, and, and actually get my point across because I, I my first 35, 40 videos sucked ass. Like, they were horrible. Whoa, man, right? It sucked ass. <laughs> it's not that kind of party, though. But um, they, they were. They were so bad. And I look back on them now, and I'm like, God, I've came so far. And it's the same thing with, with your work, right? It's like when you started creating, when you started illustrating, you started drawing or painting or, or doing whatever or sculpting or, or, or doing graffiti or, or you picked up your first pen or pencil or marker or crayon or spray can you weren't that good but you wanted to get better right so you taught yourself you 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 you, you stuck it you stuck to it you, you basically challenged yourself you're like i'm gonna create something every day or i'm gonna you know do do xyz amount of hours to to whatever right and, and this is kind of off topic but it, but it's the same thing I, I was talking to my uh to my son's um you know uh, uh karate instructor right? Because my, my son takes karate. He's, he's testing for his green belt today, actually. Um, and, and he's, he's testing for his green belt. And we were talking, cause, cause I also, I taught myself how to, how to build websites, but I also taught myself how to build apps. And I was talking to them about, you know, potentially building an app for their, uh, for their, for, for their, uh, karate school. And he's like, you know, it'd be really cool if there was a, if, if there was a way to track progress, you know, where it shows like, you know, because he was saying, like, basically, it takes 10,000 hours or, or maybe more to, to make it to black belt, right? And he's like, he's like, you know, a lot of these guys have no idea how much time they've actually put in and how much better they've gotten. So if there was a way to track progress, you know, so if you think about it, right, like, what's a black belt? What's a, what's a black belt in, in, in karate, you know, or kung fu or martial arts? Well, a, a black belt is basically that they're considered the, the best of the best, right? And I, I know that there's belts above that, but if you're, if you're a black belt, you're considered a badass, right? So... If you, and this is, this is, see, what's weird about, you know, artists and creative people, whatever, is like, there is no ranking skill. It's like, you don't get your black belt in anime. You know what I mean? You don't, you don't get your black belt in comic book illustration. You don't get your black belt in inking or, or whatever. You know, it basically, the way I look at it, right? The black belt, the green belt, the blue belt, the white belt, whatever, shows in your income. You know what I mean? It shows in what you're selling. It shows in what you're producing. So it's like, if you want to be a black belt in your craft, in your niche, in your market, well, guess what? Like, you're going to have to put the work in to get that good, you know what I mean? To be that person, to, to get that, um, to get to, to get to that talent level. And if you want to grow quick and you want to scale fast, you know, who else is going to do it for you? you got to learn to sell yourself. And what does that mean? Basically, it means stop getting all caught up in the what ifs. Well, what if nobody likes me? What if I fail? What if I don't sell anything? What if I don't do this? What if I don't do that? You know what, man? If you're going to think about what ifs, think about what if this works? What if I do blow up? What if I can quit my stupid job that I hate and just create full time and sell stuff online and sell all the art online that I want and branch out and meet amazing new people <coughs> and become the person that I want to be? There's two ways to play the what if game, right? And that's one that that's really that those are the only two ways. It, it's like it's it, it's the what if on the negative like big V level where it's like, oh, what if I fail? You know what? You're gonna fail if you don't do anything anyway. So you might as well start taking action. 
get out there, show people your shit, and then and then just get comfortable. You know, if, if you need help selling, I teach this stuff, I train in this stuff, and, I, and it's not like skeezy, scummy, like, hey, buddy, check out my watches. You know, or like, hey, pal, uh, you know, it, it's, not, it's not skeezy, scummy, like, sales guy stuff. It's actual how to sell, you know what I mean? How to be yourself, how to get comfortable being yourself, how to get comfortable talking about yourself, how to tell your story, how to sell your story, and how to ask for the fucking money. Because that is important. If you can't ask for the money, you're never gonna get paid, okay? People don't just give money away. You know what I mean? It's, it's funny, it's, it's, like that, uh, it's like that biblical quote, right? where it's like, ask and you shall receive. Well, yeah, you gotta ask for it. You gotta ask. If you don't ask, nobody's gonna give it to you. You know, it's very rare that somebody just gives you something. But I'll tell you one thing, it's very rare that somebody buys something that you don't actually show to them. <laughs> Does that make sense? You know, it's like, why do, why do restaurants put up pictures of food? Because they want you to buy the food. Hey, look how pretty my food is. You know, why do, why do, why do these, re- you know, these restaurants have these commercials where the, where the, where the sizzling hot burger and the slice of cheese falls down out of the sky all nice with the lettuce and the and everything else like why does that happen that happens because they they pay advertising companies to make their one dollar cheeseburger look better so that you can buy shit off their dollar menu you know what i mean so that being said it's like get out of your head stop thinking negative stop you know it's zig ziglar right stop stop your stinking thinking but, it, but it's like, stop doubting yourself, you know, stop, stop thinking that you can't do it, you know, because you can, if, if other people have gotten famous and other people have become successful, they've obviously laid out a pathway and they've shown that it works. You know, what's stopping you, you're stopping you. Okay. What's stopping you from, from, from buying the course or, or, or investing in yourself or, or getting some extra training. And here's the thing. I don't care if you buy my course. If you buy my course, this is what you're going to get. You're going to get full uncut realness. Okay, or you, or you know, I know that there are other guys out there, you know, uh, doing doing similar stuff. Some of them actually run ads over my videos, and they talk like this. And they use whiteboard videos. And they go, hey, ha ha ha, you know, and they're trying to appeal to everybody. I'm not trying to appeal to everybody. I'm trying to appeal to people that are on my level and get what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? I know I turn some people off. That's fine. I don't try to sell to everyone. Okay, if you appreciate the realness in this, is just realize it's like I, you know. I've been able to run a six-figure business now for the last basically eight to ten years because I knew how to sell, you know. But, but you know, and, it, and it's like I, I just know this: it's like one of the best things you could ever learn is how to sell because you know you're going to be selling your entire life when you meet when you meet people, when you go to Comic Con, when you go to events, when you go to public places, you know. And it's like, and you, and you know, you know, you know that if you're like, you don't have to be the person that you are today. You know what I mean? If you know you want to be better, you know, you have to actively work on that. You know, I actively worked on developing myself to be a better person. I actively worked on myself to get more clear on my purpose. I actively worked on myself to let go of all the negativity and hatred and self-doubt and, you know, weird mind fucks that life just kind of instills in you. I worked through that. I acted, I paid a coach to help me work through that. Because I, I needed it, you know, because because there, there was something holding me back and it was me. And that's what I realized. It was like I was making excuses to myself, you know, about why I, why, why I was procrastinating on certain things, you know, and they were all bullshit. You know, and, and that's the thing with, 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 with most of your stuff. So it, it's like when people tell me, it's like, well, I don't know where to sell. It's like there's so many platforms out there to sell. Well, well I don't know how to market. Well, you know, whatever. So... I'm, I'm just gonna get this right. So uh, who, who's that guy? Ty Lopez or whatever. Ty, Ty Lopez, right? So Ty Lopez. I was watching one of his videos the other day, and he, he brought up a really great point, right? So when when somebody basically, and it it, it it makes sense. You know, it, it's like the most successful people out there. You know, they don't necessarily know everything. 
but they know that they can learn. They know that they can read. They know that they can, you know, um, basically like uh, bring in new data into their brain and reprogram themselves or, or, or not even just like reprogram, but also, but like learn the knowledge and the skills and then the, the whatever that it takes to do certain things. So it's like, if you're not actively working on your dreams, on your goals, on your life's ambitions or your, or your whatever, you know what, dude, you're slowly, slowly dying. Okay. And there's so many people out there and, and trust me, I know, man, I got, I got three kids. I have three kids and a wife and a household to support. So I know how fucking scary it can be. Okay. To actually like say, fuck it, man, I'm following my dreams, but I refuse to fail. You know what I mean? I refuse to fail. And not just that though, man, it's like, I focus more on my own success than I focus on failure. And that, that, that right there, it's like, I focus on success. I focus on the things that I'm doing right. I focus on the achievements that I'm, that, that I'm, that I'm, that I'm getting, you know, I focus on, on, on the good stuff I, and, and I build on that. But I do know how scary it is to just like to, to, to put yourself out there. You know, I do know what it's like to have a significant other in your life that like will, you know, sometimes will question you. It's just like, are you sure you want to do this? You know, what, you know I'm like, fuck yeah, I want to do that. You know, but at the same time, I'm lucky enough to have to have a, 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 a partner, you know, and an amazing wife that supports the shit out of me, you know, where, where she knows and she knows me well enough because she's seen me do it where it's like, I'm going to make this happen. And she's like, well, I know you will, you know, because I've proven it. And that's, and that's the thing. It, it's like, whenever I do something, I don't, I don't focus on the, well, what if this doesn't work? Because it's like, if it doesn't work, I'll figure out the solution for it. You know what I mean? I focus on, well, this is what I want to do. And then I focus on how to do it. You know what I mean? Learning the skills that I need to do it. And if I have to invest, if I, if I, if I have to buy a course or if I have to pay somebody to teach me how to do it, then it's, to me, it's worth it because teaching somebody or, or, or hiring somebody or paying somebody that's actually that's actually already doing it to teach you how to do it is way more effective and way less time constricting than trying to figure it all out on yourself you know because because basically it's like the guys that I, the guys that I trained to teach me knew what worked and knew what didn't work you know and they didn't like horseshit me to where it's like oh well just you know no no, no. It, was, it was like listen don't do this do this all right now test this tweak this whatever and then it, and all of a sudden, bam, it's like results happened. So just realize that, you know what I mean? Realize that when it comes to you, your life, your goals, your dreams, it's like, don't sit back. Like if, if you know there's a problem, you know, this is something my dad taught me, right? It was just like, don't focus so much on the problem, focus on the solution, right? Don't, don't sit there and go, well, this is what's wrong with everything. It's like, okay, great. We can all sit there and have a pity party about shit and, and worry about like what's what's wrong with the world or what's wrong with life or what's wrong with your situation. That doesn't solve it. Focus on the solution. What's the solution? I'm broke. Well, good. Go get go get some money. You know what I mean? I don't have supplies. Okay, great. You know what I'm saying? Go buy some. You know, well, I have money for supplies. We'll go sell something or we'll go get some money. You know, um, you know. How else does that work? How else does that apply? Well, nobody knows me. I'm, I'm not popular. I'm not famous. I, I I don't have a following. You know, I don't know how to sell. Okay, well, let's figure this out, right? You, so, you, so you don't have a following. Well, let's let's put together some marketing material. Let's get some stuff out there. Let, let's put together a, uh, uh, some social media stuff and then actually market it. You know what I mean? Don't don't keep your. It, it's like it's like people with Instagram accounts that are artists or or or, or photographers or something that that keep their account closed. You know what I mean? Or private. It, it's like what's the point? It, it's like you're an artist. You create stuff, but you want to keep your account private. Why? Because somebody's gonna you know because somebody might see you. Well, I don't want people to, yeah, well, yeah, well, guess what, you know, if you don't want people to, to see your stuff, well, that's, that's what you're doing, you're, you're creating, you're your own problem, you know, same time, it's like, if you don't know how to sell, dude, I can teach you how to sell, you, you've been selling your entire life, and all you gotta do is just realize, there's just a couple things you say, a couple things you don't say, and just put it into, and, and just put it into action, you know, I don't know how to market, that's another, I don't know, I don't know how to market, okay, it's easy to learn, marketing's simple, you know, you see it around you all the time, but there's good marketing and there's bad marketing, you know, and I, and I teach this. So anyway, if you want to learn how to do this, okay, well, first off, and that's my advice for you guys, man. It's just like, listen, stop, whether you buy my course, you don't buy my course, whether you, whether you sign on or you don't sign on, whatever, I wish you the best. And I, I, want, to, I want everybody to succeed and make as much money and be as successful as they want, okay? You know, I don't care if, if, if you're, if you're, if you're, you know, if you want to make 500 bucks a month selling your art, great. If you want to make a thousand bucks selling your art, great. If you want to make a, you know, 
fifty thousand dollars a month selling your art, great. You know what I mean? That, that's that's you. That that's your plateau. That's your ceiling. You know, but I, w I want you to be able to hit your ceiling and then realize that there's other ceilings above that. You know what I mean? There really like there is no ceiling. The same way there is no box. You know what I mean? There is no. You don't have to live in in, in the box because there is no box. All right. I appreciate you watching this video. If you are serious about taking your art game, your your creative game to the next level, go to lifeafterartschool.net, okay? I put this course together for creative people. I teach you how to sell, how to market, how to build marketing pick campaigns, how to put your stuff on the right sites and how to get it to look good and how to price it out the right way and upsell and do all this other stuff. Because that's what artists need. Artists need to know how to sell. Okay, it's the left brain, right brain thing. It's it's like feeling and logic. Okay, what you gotta realize is like there's people buy emotionally. They don't buy logically. They buy emotionally. Okay, so you you gotta you gotta learn how to sell. Once you learn how to sell, man, all your problems are solved. But you might have some more problems. You know what I mean? But your money problems will be solved. Because now you can just basically go make money whenever you want. To me, all, all I know is this, when you have the ability to, to make money whenever you want, a lot of problems are solved. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for sticking with me through the whole thing. Um, smacks you us, smashyourgoals.com, lifeafterartschool.net, absimusmaximus.com, thatbloggingthing.com, Texas, you know, DFW, MuralArt.com, OklahomaMuralArt.com, TexasMuralArt.com, all that good shit. And there's a few other sites out there that I'm not even going to promote. If you want to learn how to do this, click the link below this video. Let's get you started. Let's get you working on this, and I'll help you. Okay? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna pamper you. I'm not gonna wipe your butt for you. You know what I'm saying? But I, but I will motivate you to get your shit done. Because I hold myself accountable for my success and I'll hold you accountable for your success as well. Okay? Back to you, Oz. Peace and I'm out. I would so like to be able to see, but I am afraid that I can't at all. I would so like to be able to see, but I am afraid that I can't.